Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. In this video, we are going to solve figure it out questions of 3.8 mental math, chapter number 3, number play. Write an example for each of the below scenarios whenever possible. We need to write one example for each of these scenarios. The first one is 5 digit plus 5 digit to give a 5 digit sum more than 90,250. That means we need to add two five digit numbers and when we add the sum that we get should be greater than 90,250. Okay, so let's say we get a sum of 91,000, right? 91,000 is more than 90,250. 91,000 is more than 90,250. So we want a sum of 91,000. So now choose the numbers. Let's say we choose 50,000 plus 41,000. 0, 0, 0, 0019. So we are getting the answer as 91,000. Okay. Next one 5 digit plus 3 digit to give a 6 digit sum. So we should add a 5 digit number and a 3 digit number. The answer should be 6 digit. So let's say we add. Uh, 9,900, sorry, 99,999, that's a 5 digit number, 3 digit, 100. Take this a big number, this 5 digit number, take a big number and then you do the addition. So 9, 9, 10, 1 carry over, 10. So this is our answer, 1 lakh 90. 9. Okay, you can take your own examples. Next one, 4 digit plus 4 digit to give a 6 digit sum. Now, we add 2 4 digit numbers to get a 6 digit sum. So, let's take the largest 4 digit numbers. That is 9999, that is 9999 plus 9999. And when we add 18, 1, 9991. We are getting 19,998 and that's a 5 digit number. We want a 6 digit sum. We are getting a 5 digit number and these are the largest 4 digits. So this is not possible. Here you write not possible to get a 6 digit sum by adding 2 4 digit numbers. D. 5 digit plus 5 digit to give a 6 digit sum. So, we will add 2 5 digits. Again, take a big number. Say 80,000. I am adding a lot of zeros because it makes your task easier. Plus 25,000. 5 digit, 5 digit. Both are 5 digits. Now, add 5, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We are getting a six digit sum okay next five digit plus five digit to give eighteen thousand five hundred this is also a five digit number we need to add two five digit numbers to get this number okay so let's take the smallest five digit number which is ten thousand plus what should i add eight thousand five hundred then i'm getting 18,500 but then this is a four digit number right and this is a five digit number this is the smallest five digit number and then I'm adding a four digit to get this but they want five digit plus five digit so in this case it is not possible we will write it is not possible to add two five digit numbers to get 18,500 it would be a five digit plus a four digit okay next one five digit minus 5 digit subtraction to give a difference less than 56,503. So we need to subtract two 5 digit numbers so that we get the difference as less than 56,503. So let's say I want to get 50,000. That is less than 56,503. I want to get 50,000. So how do I get that? I can do 90,000 
that's a five digit number minus forty thousand zero 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 five see i'm getting fifty thousand and that is less than fifty six thousand five hundred three you can take your own examples and do this there is no fixed answer for this okay next one five digit minus three digit to give a four digit difference so this is five digit minus three digit five digit minus four digit five digit minus five digit okay so these are all subtractions so let's do five digit minus three digit let's take twenty thousand five digit number minus three digit say uh, i think twenty thousand will not work we need to make it ten thousand ten thousand and three digit we can take 500 zero zero five nine nine thousand five hundred so this is a five digit number this is a three digit number and this one is a four digit number okay that is the difference next one five digit minus four digit to give a four digit difference so five digit we can take twelve thousand minus four digit we can take nine thousand i'm using a lot of zeros so that we can easily find the numbers okay zero 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 nine twelve minus nine is three so now this is five digit four digit four digit five digit minus five digit to give a three digit difference so let's take twenty thousand minus nineteen thousand seven hundred okay these two numbers should be closer because here we need a three digit number right so zero zero three zero zero so the answer would be three hundred twenty thousand minus nineteen thousand seven hundred is three hundred that's a three digit number next five digit minus five digit to give ninety one thousand five hundred so this difference is very big so we will take the largest and the smallest number and try so largest number is 99999 five digit and smallest is 10000 let's find the difference 99998 nine, nine, we're getting 89999 i've taken the largest five digit number and the smallest and still i'm getting the difference this however i need to get 91500 and this is more than this so it is not possible to get this number okay in this case it is not possible to get this number question number two below are some statements think explore and find out if each of the statement is always true only sometimes true never true why do you think so write your reasoning discuss this with the class so here we have five statements and we need to find out if it is always true only sometimes true or never true okay first one five digit number plus five digit number gives a five digit number so is this always true or is this sometimes true or never true let's find out using some examples i'll take the smallest uh, five digit number first which is 10000 okay and adding again a five digit number so i'll add 10000 i'm taking the smallest digits and adding so zero 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 twenty. So when I add the smallest five digit numbers, I'm getting a five digit number. This is twenty thousand. Okay. Now I will take the largest five digit numbers. Ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine plus ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. When we add this up, we will get one nine 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 eight. Okay. When you add this, now this see one two three four five six six digit so we are getting five digit also we are getting six digit that means this is only sometimes true this is only sometimes true because we can get a six digit number as well okay this is how you need to do it next one four digit number plus two digit number gives a four digit number again we'll take smallest and largest digits so one two three four plus smallest two digit is ten zero one zero one we are getting one thousand ten so this is the four digit number okay so we're getting a four digit now let's try out the largest digits 
9999 plus 99. When we add it up, 18, 1, 9 and 18, 19, 1, 0, 1, 10,098. And this is a 5 digit number. So they are asking, do we always get 4 digit number? No, we get 4 digit as well as 5 digit. Sometimes we get 5 digit also. So this is also only sometimes true. Now based on this question, we have the next one. Here we are adding 4 digit number plus 2 digit number. And we see that either we are getting a 4 digit number or a 5 digit number. Right? Now the next question says, 4 digit number plus 2 digit number gives us 6 digit number. However, we just saw that we are getting only 4 digit numbers or 5 digit numbers. So this is going to be never true. This is never true. And you can give the same examples or you can give some other examples and show that we are not getting 6 digit number. Okay. D. 5 digit number minus 5 digit number gives a 5 digit number. So 2 5 digit number gives a 5 digit number. Let's see some examples. Let's say I do 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 minus 2, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. 9, 8, 7, 6, 3. So I'm getting a 5 digit number. Is it always true? Let's take some other examples. Say if I take um, 82,139. That's a 5 digit number and 82,137. 9 minus 7, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0. That means I'm just getting 1 digit number, which is 2. Okay, so here I'm getting a 5 digit number, here I'm getting a 1 digit number. We can also have examples where I can get 4 digit, 3 digit, 2 digit numbers. That means this is only sometimes true. Only sometimes true. And the last one, 5 digit number minus 2 digit number gives a 3 digit number. So let's take 5 digit number 99999. Nine, nine, nine. I'm taking the largest 5 digit and the largest 2 digit. Let's see what we get. 00999. Nine, nine. So I'm getting a 5 digit number. Okay. It's saying gives a 3 digit number. So here I'm getting a 5 digit number. Let us take the smallest number and see. So that is 10,000 minus say smallest two digit number 10. So here it would be 0999. I'm getting a four digit number. So you see here I'm getting a five digit number and a four digit number. And I've taken the largest five digit number, largest two digit number, smallest five digit number and smallest two digit number. So there is no way we can get a three digit number. Either it's going to be a four digit number or a five digit number. Okay. Always you can check with the largest number and the smallest number. So here we will say never true. This is going to be never true. With this we complete all the questions of figure it out. See you all in the next video. Thank you.